Alright, all right, this is Eric. Uh, we're we'll be doing an actuator change. This, that's the actuator, turbo actuator. We got a leak on the bottom. Uh, one of the things I've experienced is it's got a kickback. It's kind of like sneezing and I hopefully uh, that's going to be the problem when we're going to change this. However, the good thing is I have the part right here, brand new one. Cost me about $266. This is a Detroit engine. Uh, you can get this, actually, this for the Detroit separately. When it comes to ISX and the Caterpillar engines, you're not going to be able to buy this, only this alone. Remove the uh, turbo line, remove that clamp right there, and then we're going to focus on removing this. Okay, we're we got that removed. Now we're going to remove some of these other components that's linked to that turbo. The moment of truth. It gets pretty exciting. I mean, you've never done it before, and this is what happens. Pretty much you take everything out, the next thing you get to see the, that's the turbo inside, basically. It's not moving, turbo's good. And hopefully, let's see, this is where it leaks from. Well, air is coming out of here basically. I got a feeling that we're losing a little power here, so we want to see if we can change this and I take it for a test ride and it should be fine. Another thing uh, we found out that uh, this leverage is not supposed to play. If this plays, maybe you have a life, maybe maximum one year, still loses a little air right through there. And you're going to have to replace the whole turbo basically. That's it. Alright, we just replaced the new one. That's the new one.